Welcome back. It's still Metrofile right here on Channels Television. We now move to Owaliru in a car northeast local government area of Delta State for the burial of the Ojayangbe of Owa Kingdom, Chief Arthur Okori Okowa, father of the governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifanyi Okowa. Proverbs 13.22 says a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. Now this verse aptly describes the legacy of good character, discipline, hard work and selfless service to God and humanity that late Chief Arthur Okorie Okua is leaving behind for his children's children. Late Chief Okoa, who is the father of the governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifan Okoa, died in January 2020 at the age of 88. Although he has long been buried, his children held a special Thanksgiving in his honor at his country home in Ika Northeast local government area of Delta State. We lift up your name, Jesus. It all kicked off with a procession into the St. Michael's Anglican Church. They celebrate their father on this day in a special way. The governor and his wife, Dame Edith Okoa, and the entire Okoa family mourn the painful exit of their patriarch. But they have all decided not to mourn like those who do not have hope, but rather celebrate his legacy and positive contributions to Ika land. We have come together as the family of God in our father's presence to offer him praise and thanksgiving especially for the life and times of late Sir Chief A. O. U. Okawa. A devout Christian of the Anglican Communion, this special service was officiated by Archbishop Metropolitan and Primate of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, Most Reverend Henry Ndukuba, supported by other bishops and clergies of the Anglican Church all over the country. people that we should be able to offer so willingly after this thought for all things come of thee and of thy own have we given thee verse 15 for we are strangers before thee and sojourners as we are all our fathers are days on the earth as the shadow and there is none abiding this is the word of the Lord.
The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, former Vice President, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, governors of different states, royal fathers, captains of industry, as well as the sons and daughters of Ika land, joined his family to celebrate his life. Lord, I lift up your name, O oh God, above every other name. Lord, we lift up your name, O oh God, above every other name. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. This is the word of God. It's time to say goodbye, so with you. A knight of the Anglican Church, his was a life of impact as a teacher, an administrator, a politician, a community leader and a traditional title holder. Equipped with all these qualities, he was able to impact his world in his own little way. I remember what God has done in and through him. To give thanks to God, we say to you, Your Excellency, your brothers and sisters, Take heart. Baba leaves. Just as Jesus said to that noble man, go your way, your son leaves. Baba is not lost, he is alive. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo offered words of consolation to the Okoa family while praising late Chief Okoa's contribution to Ika land. Ultimately, it is a legacy, a legacy of faith, of character, and selfless service to God and man. It is only such an inheritance, such a legacy, that influences the trajectory of the lives of children and grandchildren and indeed whole communities and nations. His son, Delta State Governor Ifan Yokoa, stepped up to the altar, speaking on behalf of the family. He appreciated everyone who have supported them in their moment of grief while paying glowing tribute to his late father. God was really very gracious to our father. He lived a good life. He lived a life of truth. He was a disciplinarian. And when we look back at our days in school and how he sought to discipline us, then we thought as children it may not have been the best, but today we are happy because we went through that tutelage. From here, guests moved to the Federal Road Safety Training Center where they were entertained.
Governor Ifa Yokoa, accompanied by his special guests and governors, arrived at the arena, acknowledging cheers from the guests. <laughs> The First Lady of Delta State and other family members stormed the dance floor. They danced all in celebration of their father grandfather and great-grandfather. accepted me from the very first time I entered the house as a daughter. He was my friend. That's what I will say. He's been very active in our politics. I mean, Paukawa. He's been an outreaching person. He has, he has used that kind of leadership that has endeared him to the minds of the people. A celebration of life it is for his children who are determined to continue the race as the baton has been handed over to them by their beloved father. May his soul rest in peace.